Oh, man, it's good to see you. You know, if you didn't show up, I was going to have to find something else to do. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot. And this is Monday. It's February 26th. So what I do on this show is I just share my own due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. I'm a day trader who trades penny stocks. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. And I am constantly keeping my eye open for stocks that have potential to make us money. And I got a juicy one for us today. This is Toggle 3DAI, ticker TGGLF. She finished today just under 15 cents and she was up 14%. She's on the middle tier of the OTC, the QB, which we like to refer to as the better tier. It's better than the pinks because we get validated information here. The pinks don't give you any validated information. That's what makes them so risky. Not even their financials. Those are just numbers given to us by the management. No CPA has gone through those. When you get to the QB, your price has to be at least one penny and you have to have your financials audited by CPA. That makes them more trustworthy, more transparent. That gives us numbers we can trust, fundamentals that we can actually weigh the company up with now. Along with those validated numbers, we got validated information, our verified profile and our transfer agent verified. So in those regards, she's looking real good. Independent directors are listed here. That tells us she has serious aspirations of uplisting. They also give us a warning here. That's why it's in yellow. She is a shell risk. Shell risk means that they're in business, they're supposed to be making money, but they're not reporting any revenues. And that has been the case up until the last quarterly report. They just got revenues on the books, which is great timing because they just came out with news about some big deals they're looking at that are worth millions of dollars. They have just added more AI to their portfolio. So things are looking good for this company right now. Now, what did catch my attention was the chart. The chart is hot right now. She came on the market in July of last year. She was a spin out from Next Tech 3D, which is an AI company. They do a lot of AI work. Well, they got spun out back in July, had a lot of volatility that day. A couple of days later, they hit a high of a dollar. And then since then, she's been falling down to this 15 cent price. Well, it's taken that long for the SMAs to catch up to the price. And right now, it is the most perfect teed up setup for an atypical breakout I have ever seen. It looks juicy, folks. Now, as I said, it is a spin out of NextTech3D.ai. So I want to give you a little information about this company. NextTech3D.ai is a versatile augmented reality and AI technology company that utilizes its proprietary artificial intelligence to craft immersive 3D experiences at scale for e-commerce. The company's primary focus lies in creating high-quality 3D web AR photorealistic models for Amazon and various other online retailers. NextTech 3D AI has adopted a unique approach to creating shareholder value beyond its operating business of creating 3D models. It creates these different enterprises using AI 3D, and then when they become successful, they spin them off onto the major markets or onto the open markets. Uh, Next Tech 3D successfully spun out AR Way. This is ticker ARWYF. This is a spatial computing platform. It is a standalone public company now since October of 2022. If I remember correctly, our way is Google Maps for inside, for inside malls, hospitals, big buildings, anything like that. There are maps that show you where offices are, people are, things are, all that sort of stuff. Similarly, NextTech 3D AI accomplished its second spin out launching Toggle 3D AI, an AI powered 3D design studio aimed at competing with Adobe. Now, this is really neat. Adobe Photoshop is what they're comparing it to, and I use Photoshop a lot, and I like it. It does great work. The problem is, there's just too much to it. I don't know. There's 3,000 things you can do. There's 2,000 different tools. I mean, I know what I use, and that's what I use. Well, that's what they've done. They've made a smaller version of Photoshop that focuses in on exactly what you needed to do, and it's very user-friendly. So what was the relative volume around the company today? 
Not bad. It doubled. We went from 23,000 to 36,000. Not real big numbers, but it is a 100% increase. That's what we're looking for. Share structure for toggles. Not bad. Outstanding share count is about 29 million. I don't know what the float is, but I do get a clue. Look, here they tell us the float. Normally, I don't look at it because it's always outdated. This is January of this year. Well, that's not too long ago, so there's a strong likelihood this is probably right. Looks like it's close to 14 million if these numbers are accurate. If it isn't 14 million, it's not going to be any higher than 29 million. Financials for Toggle. Well, as I said, they just started making revenues. They came on the market in July of 2023, so you're not going to see anything for January of 2023. Coming down to those quarterlies, nothing in the month they came on, but the very first quarter that is on the books, and we got another one coming out right now, we do have $21,000 on the books. Now, we know that's thousands and not just 21 because they tell us here we got to add three zeros to any of the numbers to, on any of these charts. Now, the great thing about this product is it's a digital product. It doesn't cost them anything. There's no warehousing. There's no packaging. There's no manufacturing, no materials. So they don't pay anything for the money they make. They get to keep every dime. Take a look at that balance sheet. We've got about a million dollars in the bank. Assets, 4.2 million. Oh, look at that. Liabilities is only $43,000, which means we've got positive stockholder equity in this company of $4.2 million. Not holding a bag here. Disclosures for toggles. We've got nothing here, no filings whatsoever, and all of our financials are caught up. So let's jump on over into that news. Now, actually, most of this news is just about the progress of toggle. They tell us back here at the end of January, Tago reports 75% usage growth in Q4 and a new release with AI search engine interaction set for Q1. At the beginning of February, Tago announces its groundbreaking AI increases productivity 100% in 3D model production. Now, the way I read that, they have made their product twice as good. Then on the 16th of February, Tago launches suite of GPT AI 3D solutions led by former Microsoft executive in partnership with Nextech 3D AI. And we're going to get a better look at that, looking at this piece of news, which came out on the 22nd. They tell us here that Tago is pleased to announce it is expanding its portfolio with the GPT AI virtual photography service. Also, Tago 3D's parent company, Nextech, is in negotiations with a number of large enterprise manufacturers which produce hundreds of thousands of products annually for contracts valued in seven figures. That's up to $9 million, folks. The deals are expected to close in Q1. We've only got one more month left for Q1. And if closed, would involve GPT AI from Tago 3D providing a significant revenue sharing opportunity for the company. Obviously, when the company spun Tago out, they kept a percentage of the company, so they're going to make money as well. So they tell us down here the Tago 3D AI platform provides users with an easy to use point and click interface that simplifies the creation of 3D models by simply importing a CAD file that is a computer aided design. This is a formatted file that comes from a lot of different programs so that companies, brands, manufacturers, and users can easily use Tago 3D to generate 3D models apply AI-driven texturing, utilize the virtual photography studio, and much more. This platform is especially groundbreaking for e-commerce, where the virtual photography studio eliminates the need for physical product photography, saving large brands potentially millions of dollars annually. I mean, think about that. Every single product has pictures taken of it. You're going to save more than just not having to buy a camera and hire a photographer. And, to, and the truth of the matter is, you're going to end up with better quality work. Never are you going to have a lighting problem. And down here, they give us a list of all of these new GPTs that they have been adding. 
It is growing at a tremendous rate. I remember when these companies were around over a year ago, there was no AI involved with them. It was just augmented reality and virtual reality. Now it's AI. So I like what's going on with the company. The AI is growing fast. This product that they've got is going to be very, very popular. I use Photoshop. I love Photoshop, except it's too complicated. There's way too much in there, too many buttons, too many tools, too many things I can do. Theirs is so easy, you don't even have to download it. You just connect online, you bring in your CAD file, and you start to dress it up right then and there. Super easy. But what I like best is the chart. The chart is super hot right now, folks, and looks like it is ready to launch. So let's chart, Tago 3D AI. We're gonna do it on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. This is TGGLF, and I've actually got this open to a five day, five minute chart because I wanna share something with you I saw. Look at how she broke out. She was underneath all of her SMAs, got up on top of the nine, and she has been steady climbing, floating on that nine day SMA this entire time on the five minute chart. Well, look at the 15 minute chart. Doesn't look a whole <laughs> different, does it? Steady climbing on that nine day SMA. Same thing happening on the 30 day. Same song and dance on the one hour. We have got secure, steady climb on the nine day SMAs on every chart. But it is the four hour chart that caught my attention. This is a perfect, juicy, atypical breakout chart right here. So let's start back here where the story began on July 3rd when they came onto the market at about 80 cents, fell to 25 cents, jumped to 93 cents, and ended the day at roughly 70 cents. About a week later, she hit a buck, and that's as high as she got. From there, she was on a downtrend, hitting a low of 4 cents here at the end of December. And from this point, she's just been going sideways, basically biding time. There's nowhere she can go, really. All of her SMAs are here with her. The 50, the 20, the 9. The only one not here is our 200-day SMA clear up there. Way too far away. So she's just got to go sideways waiting. Well, once the 200 starts getting close, we start seeing some excitement here. She's bouncing around. Woohoo! It's getting close. It's getting close. Then she takes a little bit of a dip, like maybe she's getting ready to pounce and that's what she did. She came up, went straight for the 200. She broke through, not huge, but she broke through. She's come back down and she is hovering over a nine day SMA, looking sound, looking like she's ready to run. Our volume has been strong these last few days. Our oscillators have been strong these last few days. Our PPO has been climbing for five days. Our MACD has been climbing. Lots of big green bars in the picture right now. And our RSI is dipping just a wee bit, but it is up there at 63 right now. Taking a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. So we got a low bubble here of about seven cents. And pretty much she's just going sideways, right? She's bouncing off of this 200. And then a couple days ago, she took off. And she got on top of that nine-day SMA, and she has been climbing, hitting this high of 16 and a half cents. Oscillators are still looking strong. All of them, our PPO, our MACD, are still pushing to the moon. RSI is actually pushing up now. That is at 60. Take a look at our five-day, five-minute. So our low here is $0.09, cents, got up on top of that 50. Looks like we don't have a 200-day SMA in the picture right now, so the 50 is the top dog. Got up on top of that 50, huge bar, lots of excitement. Got on the 9-day. We had a pillar here. I call that a pillar, these red bars that go through one, two SMAs, and then jump right back up to where they started from. To me, that is just steadying the bridge. This says, I'm ready to climb, but I don't want it to tip over and fall. So they put these big pillars down. So I like this. After it went into the ground, there she goes. She is climbing, hitting that high, falling back, bouncing onto the 20, coming back up to the 9. This is all in control. All of our SMAs on these charts have been up and climbing right now. Everything looks secure. 
Oscillators are a little bit cool on the five day, five minute chart, but honestly, I like Tago. They are talking deals about millions of dollars. They've just had revenue start coming in, so this should be exciting. The revenue should take a bounce. We do have financials that are due out any time now. Who knows what's going to be on them? And they've just added more AI to their portfolio and got that new website. You don't even have to download it. Just bring in your CAD and you can work on it. And they are ready to get this thing out there. It's going to be fire, folks. It is going to be fire. Take it from a guy that sells a lot of products online. I think it's a hot product. I'd be putting TGGLF on my watch list. But if I were you, I'd still do some more due diligence. I would. Not because I've told you anything wrong, at least not that I know I have, but I know I didn't tell you everything. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.